I called 911 for the first time. It happened in New York. I saw something and I said something. <laughs> what happened was I was walking through the park and next to the park was a car and inside the car was a man and inside the man's hand was his dick. <laughs> he was masturbating early on a Sunday morning. It was like, he was the early bird jerking his worm. And I was concerned because there were kids running around and I was like, what about the children? I didn't call 911 immediately because I was on my way to brunch. <laughs> I had to address that first. I called the friend who I was meeting up with and I was like, hey girl, I'm gonna be a little late. There's a guy in the park with his dick out. And she goes, you've already used that excuse before. <laughs> Fair. But I was like, who do I call in this situation? I'm not aware of like a masturbation tip line. Although there should be one. Just the tips. <laughs> But like, is this a 911 situation? And she goes, I don't know, just hurry up. I don't wanna lose these seats. So we stopped talking. And then I called my mom. And I don't usually call my mom when there's a dick in front of me. But she is a woman who has lived. So she's probably encountered unwanted dick at some point in time. And I was like, mom, there's a man in the park with his dick out, who do I call? And she goes, I mean, he's not touching anyone or harassing anyone. Is there a level below 911? And the only thing I could think of was 311, <laughs> which in New York is the housing department. And I was like, he is pitching a tent, so. So I called them and I waited through this long automated message system that was like, do you have a problem with your landlord? Do you have a problem with your tenant? And I finally got a human on the phone and I was like, man in the park with his dick out. <laughs> and she goes, is this man your landlord or your tenant? <laughs> and I was like, neither. She goes, okay, we can't help you. She patches me through to 911. Meanwhile, this guy is still jerking off. I had three full phone conversations next to his car, and he's just doing him, literally. I get a 911 operator on the phone, and I'm like, man, park, dick. And she goes, is the suspect black or Hispanic? Those were the only two options I was given. Shortest multiple choice question I've ever had in my life. And I was like, are you kidding me? Like, this is where we're at? People keep saying we're in a post-racial society and yet people keep thinking like this. How are we supposed to progress when authorities automatically assume that the person committing a crime is a person of color? That being said, he was Hispanic. <laughs> And then I was like, well, now I don't want to snitch. <laughs> so I hung up. Because then I started feeling bad for him. And I was like, maybe he's just so stressed out from all the oppression he deals with. <laughs> every day in this country that he just needs a release. And maybe jerking off in public spaces is his form of rebellion. He's saying, fuck the establishment by fucking himself. He's tired of the man beating him down. So he's beating his meat. He's carrying a heavy load. And he's taking matters into his own hands. We should all strive for that level of bravery. <laughs> I went on vacation recently. I risked it all for a beach. 
I went to Costa Rica with my best friend. Yeah, it was fun. And we stayed at a resort because we wanted to be in a different country, but like, not really. <laughs> and we wanted to go dancing one night. So we went to the concierge desk and we're like, we're gonna go dancing. Can you please call us a car? And we were talking to a staff full of men and they were like, you wanna go out alone? You're just two women. Do you need a man to go with you? Should we send a chaperone to watch over you? And we're like, we're not going to prom. <laughs> we're just going to a bar, it's fine. But they wouldn't let it go. And then one guy behind the desk was like, <laughs> I mean, I guess you have to learn your lessons the hard way. And I was like, is this the beginning of a porn? <laughs> Learn my lessons the hard way. <laughs> I mean, I wasn't expecting this, but okay. <laughs> and it didn't phase us. We left, went dancing, found strangers, did their drugs, and made it back safely. Because we're adults. <laughs> but I thought about that moment, and I was like, why wasn't I scared? I feel like me in my 20s would have been scared and been like, oh, we are just two women. Maybe we do need a man. But me today, I'm like, I dare you. <laughs> I dare you. I'm not worried to learn my lessons the hard way anymore because I've already learned all my lessons the hard way. <laughs> I lived in New York for almost 10 years. I'm a woman in her 30s. If you're looking to scam me, you're too late. <laughs> I have been scammed. <laughs> At this point, I know all the tricks. I've been scammed out of money, sex, my time, mostly from the same guy. <laughs> I used to live in Brooklyn and I was at a local bar flirting with this guy. And we were giving each other like, fuck me vibes. And I was like, okay, I think this is gonna happen. But he kept doing all these like chivalrous transactional acts for the pussy. <laughs> and I wanted to be like, no need. <laughs> you got nothing but green lights here, we're good. <laughs> but he wouldn't stop. And I was like, okay, this is clearly for him. I'll just play along and this will be like personal role play where I pretend to be somebody who's harder to get than she actually is. <laughs> I'll give it a try. So we're flirting in the bar, bar shuts down and he goes, oh man, it's so late. I should probably walk you home, right? And I was like, yeah, <laughs> walk me home. I wouldn't want to learn a lesson. <laughs> and so he walks me home. We get to the bottom of my apartment building and he goes, I should probably walk you upstairs, right? And I was like, oh my God, thank you. I always get so lost. <laughs> I'm terrible with directions. <laughs> Is it up? <laughs> so he walks me upstairs. And then we get to my living room and we're talking for a long time. And then eventually he goes, oh, wow, it is late. I should probably stay here for the night, huh? And I was like, uh-huh. And he goes, on the couch? And I'm like, okay. And then we're like making the couch, tucking the sheets in the cushions as if that's where he's gonna sleep tonight, <laughs> wasting everybody's time. And then he tucks himself in the sheets and he goes, oh, you know what I just realized? If your roommates come home and they see a stranger on the couch, they're gonna think I'm an intruder. I should probably sleep in your bed, right? And I was like, yeah, man. We are on the same team. We have the 
the same objective. If you look at the board, this was the game plan the whole time. I even drew up a play for you to explode through the hole. Yes, get in my bed, and if your dick gets cold, you can use my pussy for warmth. So he got in my bed, and we started fooling around, but it didn't get very far, because his dick wasn't working. And he goes, too many margs. And that happens, I was like, we'll try again in the morning. We wake up, and I'm like, meh? And he goes, meh, I have to go to work. And then he leaves. And it took me a while to realize that he worked at a restaurant in Brooklyn, and he lived an hour away in Harlem. So he just wanted to avoid the two hour commute and wake up closer to work the next day. Took me two years to realize that. <laughs> I have been scammed. <laughs> but I'm fine with this. I'm okay that I've gone through these things because this means I never have to experience these things again. <laughs> right? I've already lived through them and learned from them. And when they come up again, I know how to handle it better. For example, I was walking down the street by myself and this man approached me and he asked me for the time. I pulled out my phone, looked at it, looked back up, his dick was out. <laughs> Learned my lesson, I don't tell anyone the time anymore. <laughs> like, oh, what time is it? Time's up, that's what time it is. <laughs> but on the plus side, that guy who showed me his dick same guy I saw jerking off in the park earlier. And I was like, look at you getting out of the car. Not letting the man keep you confined to your task faces. Take it to the streets. 